Today we're going to continue working with sequences, but we are going to use tables, and the terms are not given to you today, just the position number and the rule. So we are going to work out the first two problems together, and then you guys are going to keep going on your own. Okay, so in question one, what we need to do is we are going to look at the rule, which is in the center of your table. On this one, it says the rule is 4n. 4n, that means I'm going to take every one of these position numbers and I'm going to multiply them by 4. And then the answer is going to go over here in the right hand column in the term box. So to do that, we're going to replace the letter n in the rule with each one of the position numbers. We're going to write the new rule, including the position number in the center, work it out, and then find each term. So to do that, I'm going to take each position number and multiply it by 4. In the first row, it says the position number is 0. So I'm going to put 4 times 0. 4 times 0 is 0. So my first term in the sequence is going to be 0. I'm going to move down to the second row. It says my position number is 1. So I'm going to write 4 times 1. And the answer is 4. We move down to the second row. My position number is now 2. So in my box, what should I write? Perfect. 4 times 2 is 8. So my next position number in the term would be 8. Okay, third position, I'm going to put 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So now I know that my answers are going to be 0, 4, 8, and 12. Okay, table number 1, done. Table number two, we're going to follow the same steps. Replace the letter N in the rule with each position number, then work out the problem to find the terms in the sequence. You do need to notice every single question, the terms are different. They do not start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 again. The terms now are going to be 2, 3, 4, and 5. But in the center right here, we're still going to just write the number where the n is, finish out the rule, and solve it. So in this question, n minus 1, that's our rule. It says it to us right here in the middle. So for this one, I'm going to do 2 minus 1 is 1. The next row, my position number that I want to use is 3. So I need to put 3 minus 1. That's 2. Next position number is 4. You guessed it. 4 minus 1 is 3. And the last one that we need to find out, 5 minus 1, super hard, is 4. Okay, so we finished table 2. Your terms are going to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, you guys need to keep working. These are not going to be hard at all. We're just adding a little bit more work to you guys. You're using the rule and finding the term today.